Hello friends, welcome to the blog. Ben here with another video. Thank you very much for tuning in. in uh um, I hope you can hear me fine uh, this time. Uh, for last week video, my microphone ran out of battery and uh, I haven't had a chance to replace the battery in that microphone, so I am recording this video with the built-in microphone from the camera. I hope that's okay. I fell under pressure last week and um, I didn't realize the sound was bad until I exported the footage from the camera into the laptop. And uh, by the time it was time for me to uh, get moving with the video, and um, you know, I keep hearing from the YouTube gurus that you have to be in a schedule, you have to be consistent. So I fell under pressure and I thought to just upload it and uh, try to be better in this video here for this week. I hope you can hear me and I hope uh, that is not a technical problem anymore. I will replace the battery and the microphone as soon as I can. Hopefully uh, for next week video, I can do that. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to do in this video today is the, considering that this is the, the end of uh, the summer 2019, I thought of uh, do a, a quick uh, look back and uh, see what we did. We had a great summer. I uh, got to try different uh, summer fragrances. I shared with you different uh, summer scents. I even uh, did uh, things uh, this summer that I wasn't uh, planning on doing, like uh, doing reviews of uh, or visiting different gardens in the city like I am right now. This is another uh, municipal garden and um, that was something that it was no uh, in my mind to do but I'm glad I get to do it. There were, for, there were few fragrances I wanted to try this past uh, summer and uh, I never had a chance. I gonna do this video and uh, hopefully next summer I'll come back to this video so I can remember which the fragrances that I wanted to try were then I didn't get the chance uh, starting with the fragrance starting with the first fragrance that I wanted to try uh, this uh, past summer and I never did is the Mugler cologne I heard great things about that fragrance I just uh, never got the chance to try it I heard uh, the scent is uh, really clean and really fresh just the way that I like the scents and um, I really hope I get a chance to try it next week. Some of the notes in that one, I think, is the neroli and uh, some citrus, like bergamot. So I am really curious to try it. I heard many, many great things about it. And, um, and I think I will uh, definitely try it next, next summer. The other fragrance I had a mind to try this summer, and I never get the chance, is the bright neroli by the brand of Ferrari. Uh, I know uh, some car brands are coming up with uh, some fragrance scents and uh, they don't have a good uh, reputation, but uh, this one, uh, Ferrari, I, I heard great things about it. Also, uh, the notes are uh, a lot of citrus and uh, a lot of uh, herby notes like Betty Bear and uh, some musk on it too, so that's great. So the third fragrance that I had on mind to try uh, this year and I never did uh, this summer uh, 2019 is at least one fragrance from the brand of Aqua di Parma that is a niche fragrance uh, based from Italy and uh, for some reason I haven't had a chance to try any any of their fragrances yet. I think uh, the first one for me to try uh, probably will be Colonia Essenza, I heard uh, great things about it. Also, I uh, had some uh, notes of citrus and uh, some floral notes. Uh, and it will be a great a great entry fragrance to uh, test uh, the brand of uh, Aqua di Parma for the very first time. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna come back to this video and see the, what are those fragrances that I wanted to try and I never get the chance to it. So uh, that's the video for this week. Um, before I go though, enjoy this uh, little garden here that I came to uh, film this video today. Check this out.
And I am right now in uh, Old Town, Lansing. Uh, this, again, this is Grand River. The Grand River is the, a river that goes around here in, in town. It kind of surrounds it all over the place. And the city has the different parks along the river. And uh, they have some uh, facilities for uh, bike riding and uh, fishing. Uh, just to uh, have a good time with the family. It's a uh, very uh, kids-friendly atmosphere here, kids-friendly environment, and uh, it's a really great park. I really like it. I like to uh, come here and uh, ride uh, my bike. So it's great. Uh, we have uh, some mix of uh, different uh, blooming blooming plants here the canna lily the uh, it's very popular uh, tropical plants this one looks like uh, some kind of irises again uh, there is some hibiscus back there uh, it was a one common in my the last uh, garden video that there is a variety of hibiscus that is called a hardy hibiscus and uh, those well in uh, cool climates like Michigan so we just keep coming back you don't have to uh, remove it from the ground put it away and then replant it next year this one just stays out and uh, it is great it just keep coming back there is some art here it's a nice uh, a sculpture made of steel. It looks like salt uh, fall leaf. It's a great piece of art. Some hostas. Hostas does uh, great in uh, sunny environments like here, and also in shade environments. Uh, it's this a really uh, easy to take care of plan. Some spirea bushes. Looks like this one is done blooming. Didn't get to see the blooming. And uh, some annual, annual uh, mix of uh, different uh, blooming plants here. It's a nice color plant. Some petunias. And this one I think is a lantana or lantana this one is definitely is a lantana a lot of these uh, flowers are really good for the pollinators So uh, that's the video for this week. Um, if I never had the chance to try these fragrance that I was talking about, I don't know if you have any experience with them and uh, I will appreciate that you let me know uh, what your experience is with those uh, scents. If you like them, if they're great for the summertime or if there are better fragrances out there that you think it will be a uh, better alternative for those that I included in this video. I will also appreciate if you consider to give a thumbs up to this video and uh, consider to subscribe to the channel in case that you haven't done that yet. I am uh, trying very hard to grow as much as I can and I will really appreciate all your help in any way. So I hope to see you again in our next week video. Until then, stay well. Bye.